So today, ladies, we are talking how to look expensive during summer. And don't you worry, don't you hide your credit cards, we will not damage them. We're gonna try to do absolutely opposite. We're gonna try to save your money, because today I'm gonna reveal to you five major rules which you have to remember if you want to look elegant, chic and, of course, expensive during summer. Of course, we will consider the hot weather. So stay with me and let's do it! Hi, my name is Ella and we're talking on this channel how to look beautiful and stylish. So let's dive into our subject. So specifically in this video we will speak about casual, expensive looking style. Because I think it's a season of vacation, many of you are probably considering what to buy or maybe what to pack in your suitcase. So I think this video will be useful because we will definitely consider hot weather. So casual, everyday, simple, but expensive looking style. So when do you say expensive looking style? So what do you usually imagine? Of course, you probably think about style and fashion, old money, something in the great quality, great cut, great fabrics. If you look at the rich people, especially in Europe, you see that they always shop in Loro Piana, Brunello Cucinelli, Xenia, all these type of shops. Trust me, there is nothing in two digits. Everything starts with three digits and it goes up to four. Seriously, it's so, so expensive. When you look at the mass market, not all the time the quality meets our requirements. But don't you worry, because I'm gonna tell you five major principles, which, if you remember them, you can definitely find your items and you can create this expensive looking style. So let's have a look what exactly we have to look for if we want to create this very expensive looking, very chic, polished style. And since we're talking about summer and we're considering our hot weather, so obviously the rule number one would be go for the natural fabrics, which is cotton, linen or silk. 100%. Try to avoid all these synthetics, elastines that will make you just feeling hot and sweaty. You always feel better in natural fabrics. And that's why people paying big bucks in Loro Piano for the shirt, which is like seven or eight hundred euros. But the good news: the mass market is full of good, perfect quality linen items. I will try to make the selection of good linen pants, linen shirts, even shorts, and link it down below. When it comes to mass market, I personally love linen from Massimo Dutti. It's insane quality. I love it. I have a lot of items from Massimo Dutti, but I would say Reformation does great job and of course Banana Republic. You know, just recently I was shopping in London and I found this beautiful sky blue trendy color linen suit in Rees. It's an English shop. It was a beautiful suit. It was double-breasted, beautiful quality, beautiful cut. I actually took a video for you in the shop. And it was over 500 pounds, a little bit costly. So I knew I wanted it. So what did I do? I found exactly the same color in Zara. And I paid 30% of the price what I saw in Reese. So when you know what you want, you can definitely find it. And when it comes to silk, I would say also, Lily Silk does great quality blouses, one of them I'm wearing right now. And it's my favorite color, sky blue, which goes perfectly with my suit. So pay attention to Lily Silk. Pay attention to Reformation, does good quality blouses as well. And the second thing you have to consider is the cut. Of course, because it's summer, your cut, your shirt has to be flowy, nothing tied to the body. I can't imagine fitted linen shirt. I don't think it will look nice or fitted silk shirt. So go for bigger size. I personally buy my shirt one or even two sizes up and it doesn't mean that I got bigger. It just looks better on the body. So don't be afraid of trying bigger size tops or even your bottoms. They will just look nice and flowy on your body. And if you move with the silk pants, every single step the silk will move with you. You know all these details like choosing the right cut, choosing the right fabrics, all these small details, that's what create expensive looking outfit. Like for example, you choose your silk pants 
in the right size so the silk just moves with every movement you do that's what gives this illusion of expensive looking outfit and the tip number three choose the right color what do i mean by choosing the right color choose the colors of the nature choose basic colors nothing bold nothing too bright go for the calm muted colors if you go to laura piana you will never see these bold colors it's always muted pastel color any shades of blue white main color of the summer of course a lot of white badges shades of green all these colors represent status rich expensive that's what we want to choose and of course you will all agree with me but we cannot survive summer without white color probably white color is the main color of the summer so anything in total white that would be just amazing and you can combine even different shades of white now in styling this is acceptable and the tip number four will be go for monochromatic looks mono means one go for the one color total color look you will always look not just skinnier we know that monochrome makes you look skinnier but you will look elegant and chic and of course very expensive on the same time if you love monochrome go for it but you can always use different shades of the same color like for example look in this video i am wearing navy blue silk flowy pants with my light blue linen shirt and the weather was a little bit chilly so i've decided to put my white jacket over it so two different shades of blue that is also one of the tricks you can use so different shades of the same color that will always look very very expensive and since we're talking about colors you will probably ask me about prints this is tricky question <laughs> this is very difficult question because prints have to be used properly in the right part of the body and of course the size the color of the print has to be chosen very very carefully this is the topic of the other video if you're trying to create very expensive looking outfit if you want to look elegant and chic if you're trying to create rich very rich look try to stay away from prints the maximum i would say use pinstripe pinstripe shirt is okay and trust me if you go to a very expensive shop like laura piano brunella cuccinelli you will not see these big floral prints they are minimal and they are presented in a very minimal amount let's use only thin stripes if we want to create expensive looking outfits i would rather to play with different shades of the same color other than using prints and let's move to our last styling tip and of course it's gonna be accessories scarves belts shoes bags sunglasses the choice is yours of course our accessories they complete our look but when it comes to creating expensive look the key word here is minimal yes minimal try to avoid this logomania please i'm begging you nothing with big logos the maximum you can have a tiny logo on your belt or on your back and even though you don't have to there's so many beautiful things in the shops it has absolutely no logo especially when it comes to bags raffia is now on a big rise go for raffia bag it always looks nice and summery especially with linen cotton and even silk and it's perfectly suits any summer look so go for raffia i actually will try to make a selection of good raffia bags and i will link it down below as well so go minimal but of course use accessory but remember the key word minimal even when it comes to jewelry go for something small something tiny and it doesn't have to be designer if you have to use your accessories forget about this chunky colorful accessories go for something small something expensive looking and you will be fine even when it comes to your scarves sunglasses try to use nice classical models nothing so flashy and maybe nothing so trendy but we're creating expensive looking style and when it comes to shoes of course it's also very important when you meet a rich person and you look at his shoes you immediately notice that rich people they buy 
beautiful expensive shoes but again i think laura piana just set the trend for these trendy loafers and now i see them absolutely everywhere even zara does them i saw them the other day in reese as well Actually, they're in a good, good quality, but they're looking exactly like Laura Piano. And again, think about colors. Go for shades of beiges, white, even your mirrors, your flip-flops. Try to choose them without any logos, something nice, clean, and very, very simple finishing. And you'll be absolutely gorgeous. You don't have to try very hard to look expensive. Just remember those five tips I just mentioned to you. Go for the natural fabrics, cotton, linen or silk. Go for this flowy look, the fabric which allows your body to breathe. And of course, it will not make you feel hot during summer. Go for the right cuts. Oversized is better than tight. Go for the right basic colors. They will never, never go out of fashion. And of course, monochromatic looks is always on trend, always looks elegant and expensive. And play with the shades of the same color. And finally, right accessories will complete your expensive look. And of course, I'll be more than happy if you visit me on my Instagram page, where I'm posting a lot of styling reels. I hope this video was helpful. And for now, of course, as usual, I wish you all good luck in creating your looks and stay beautiful, stay stylish, and I will see you soon.